hata 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 we dem aga do ya no no link and the attack no hata hata bring a old chain set up no link hata 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 hi good evening good morning and good night my name is Damon Watson and I'm a Jamaican and this is my story of how I'm confined to a wheelchair. In the year 2001, my dad sent for me from Jamaica to live with him in Antigua in which I go to school here and I work here as well. I was a heavy equipment operator, thus I crane, backhoe, excavator, bobcat, big trucks, big trucks and such like. I never have any run-ins with the law, whether here or back home and time passes by i'm working in antigua and so in here 2007 i was living with my baby mother she was pregnant at the time and i got shot by a policeman for no reason where my baby mother took on all of that pain i can't walk i'm in a wheelchair Who's going to help her? Who's going to defend for her, our child, unborn child? So she took it on. And it said year 2007, she died in child's birth. Where her mother took away the child. Whoa. So I couldn't have the child. Rough, rough. She tough. ran away. I have to go back and live with my, my father to help um, take care of me. He worked and he was taking care of me. He was doing a pretty good job. He even took me, he even was sending me to therapy. That's where I found out that um, I started developing feelings in my legs and movements as well. But I was in pain every day. From the moment I was shot, I was in pain. The doctors couldn't explain um, why I have no feelings in, in, in my feet, my foot, and still I have so much pain. I sometimes have to go by the hospital even twice or three times per week just because of the pain in my legs. First I want to say, please excuse me, if you see the video, pause or anything like that, it's because the pain come on so I pause the video because there's not a lot of people out there who would see someone in pain and couldn't watch a video same way as well <laughs> sorry about that the pain i'm feeling it's sharp it, you don't know when it's coming on it's just jump on the feet and just like rough tough. I, I'm, I always explain like there's a truck park on my foot that's how it feel and that's what i'm have me sweating like this because of the pain. In 2009, as I said, my dad took it on and to see me in so much pain every day and he had an heart attack and died. So then I have to start defending for myself. I, he had a car out, I had to teach myself how to drive again with no legs. Can't use my foot, so I have to start drive because my foot could move a feeling, but not that much to drive a car with them. So I have to um, teach myself how to drive using my two hands. I know a little mechanic work from back home, so I start doing um, a little mechanic work just to just to try and survive. Try sending myself to therapy, and um, you know, try to start try and walk again because I know there's a God. And I know this is not what he really wants for me. I know I could walk. I know that time will come. So therefore, I'm trying and I'm doing my best. I would even say try. I'm doing my best to get there again. Because I was born to walk. I was born to walk. Time goes on and things get bad for me. Even during this COVID time, I can't do any therapy. I can't afford it anymore because I'm not getting any work or, or anything like that. Uh, I'm currently on some medication. 
This is one named Barrel Gin and <laughs> Gap Girl Barrel Gin that's for pain, as I said in the legs. This one is Gabapentin. That's for pain in the legs as well. And I'm not doing good health wise, so this is um mm, back trim and that is for an infection that I have. So I said I'm not doing too well. Um, this is a video I'm seeking help. I don't have um I don't have food in the house or anything like that. And I live alone. <laughs> I have to take care of take care of myself. I try to smile every day because I know God is real. God is real. And I know He have something in store for me as well as I have a living testimony because I've been through so much during these years I'm now 38, 38 and I've Yum. been in wheelchair from the age of 27 Jesus. and every day I try to be like this I try to be happy no matter what pain I'm feeling I try to try I try to be happy some days I can't even get out of bed Someday I cried so much because of the pain, but still, I try and put a smile on my face. <laughs> so, anybody out there who could help me medically, physically, or even mentally, just please, I'm asking for the help. <laughs> I have nowhere to turn right now. I have nowhere to turn. So I put this in the hands of God. And whosoever heart he may touch to help me, I appreciate. I'm living in Antigua and I'm alone. I live alone. I try work. I still, I love to work because I don't like to depend. But this is the time where I have to ask for help. Sometime in life, you have to ask for help. And this is my time asking for help. I'm not physically fit, but my mind is there and I'm willing. I'm a willing person. I work for what I want. But right now, I'm asking for help. Please, thank you. Damien Watson, thanks and goodbye. Jano, 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 Jano. <laughs> bless up, bless up, my people. Big up on yourself, you know. See, sometime in a life, you may think you have it hard. You may think you have it rough. You may think you go through a lot and you feel like give up. But pity you don't know, people. Sometime there's somebody out there who I tell you, <laughs> where you have going through, is this compared to what they have been through and what they are currently going through in life that's why I tell people never give up because they don't know what's the next man's struggle out there never give up in life see people 11 years now this man has been bound in wheelchair at the age of 38 so basically life has been destroyed from the age of 27 but still yet he don't consider himself destroyed he's not giving up he still have an open mind and a trust in the almighty that he will walk again viewers and subscribers this man going through a lot right now but this is a lesson he also teaching as others out there you will hear today and you don't know what tomorrow may bring you hear what he said you know he was innocently shot by a police officer he lost his baby mother, right? His child, the baby mother, um, mother gone with it. Which maybe because I, I don't know what I'm going on. Who to tell is not the child, mother. Who is tell that the baby mother, mother set up police to kill him? You never know. You understand people? You never know. For, for shoot him or whatever, you never know. Just saying. Seeing his father who used to be the breadwinner take care of him, drop out. So this man has been for so long. It's not an easy road. It's 
not a easy road, people. I'm telling the truth, it's not a easy road. And in my mind here, people, honestly, anyone out there who can assist him and give him a help, give him a strength, please do. Because many people going to say, um, he's, you know, he's not in Jamaica and why he not go to Jamaica make his family take care of him. But maybe I don't know. Maybe his family in Jamaica there, you know. Not every family who people have, you know, sometimes are really family towards them, you know. Maybe it's better, he's a roaster. Maybe it's better for him to even be over there than even back home. You never know. See? So, for now, I don't have his contact, but I'm going to reach out to people and try to get his contact and I'm going to leave it below. While I'm doing the video now, currently, I'm doing this video. Don't edit or anything yet. I don't have his contact, but I'm going to get the contact before I upload. So when I upload, I can put this number in the description and you can contact him personally from there. If you just want to speak to him and talk to him, give him a word of motivation, give him a word of prayer, even if you don't have it to help him or assist him financially because this man say he don't need help in any ways. You know, whether you can talk to him, give him a strength or something, but please do. And your rewards shall be granted back to you remember new link tell her that so don't know the thing of yours and subscribers man this is new link you know from new link production and we say attack attack people and if you don't subscribe please do subscribe now and hit that notification bell icon so as new link chop a video you will get them follow me on instagram new link underscore production official and facebook and everywhere you don't know the thing of people peace out and respect and big up attack i'm out